I would like to start off this video by pointing out part of what makes it so that I know that I'm chosen to give these videos is the hundreds of arguments I've been in with Muslims, Christians, Hindus, Taoists, historians, teachers, doctors, people who are respectable members of society. And I've won the debate and arguments every time. Hands down. Wasn't even close. Almost every time they conceded my points. Or they gave up because they were trapped. Checkmate. Now, I'd like to also start off before the reading telling you that line 4 in Revelations 1 is not referring to people of God being Asian, but rather some of the main churches that went astray being Asian, and this is part of why the Chinese and some of the other Asian countries and secret societies connected to the Chinese and some of them that are pretending to oppose the Chinese are in on the conspiracy as well. So I'll start off now by reading Revelations. Prologue. The revelations of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants, what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who testifies to everything he saw. That is the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Blessed is the one who reads the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear it and take to heart what is written in it, because the time is near. John to the seven churches in the province of Asia, grace and peace to you from him who is, and who was, and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne. And Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth. So they separate the churches and even the, the spirits from Jesus. Now, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, and has made us to be a kingdom and priest to serve his God and Father, to him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Look, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And all the peoples of the earth will mourn because of him. So shall it be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. One son like a, like a son, one like a son of man. I, John, your brother and companion in the suffering and kingdom and patient endurance that are ours in Jesus, was on the island of Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. On the Lord's day I was in the spirit, and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet, which said, Write on a scroll what you see, and send it to the seven churches, to Ephesus, to Smyrna, Paragum, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, Laodicea, I turned around to see the voice that was speaking to me, and when I turned around I saw seven golden lampstands, and among the lampstands was someone like a son of man dressed in a robe, reaching down to his feet, and with a golden sash around his chest. His head and hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like brazen fire. His feet were like bronze glowing in a furnace, and his voice was like the sound of rushing waters. In his right hand he held seven stars. And out of his mouth came a sharp double-edged sword. His face was like that was like the sun shining in all its brilliance. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. Then he placed his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and Hades. Write, therefore, what you have seen, what is now, and what will take place later. The mystery of the seven stars that you saw in my right hand and the, of the seven golden lampstands is this. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. To the angel of the church in Ephesus, in Ephesus right? Or you can pronounce Ephesus. These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in the right hand and walks amongst the seven golden lampstands. I know your deeds, your hard work, and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked men, that you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not, and have found them false. You have preserved and have endured hardships to my name.
for my name, and have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken your first love. Remember the height from which you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. What's he referring to? Ancient Africa. At first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. If you do not admit the foundation of your Eurocentric Caucasian wisdom is not from Africa, I will remove the lampstand from you. And that is what has happened. And Chukwu Emeka has taken it from the scum, from the bootlicking traitors who have merged the church with the secret societies and the elites and spiked their ancestors. I continue. But you have this in your favor. You hate the practices of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. The woods. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God in Egypt. I showed you the hieroglyphics of the tree of life, the garden of Eden, which once was and will be again. To the angel of the church in Smyrna writes, These are the words of him who is the first and the last, who died and came to life again. I know your afflictions and your poverty, yet you are rich. I know the slander of those who say they are Jews and are not the woods, but are a synagogue of Satan, the secret societies, based on the mystic Kabbalah of the woods. And I continue. Do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison to test you, as they have me, my brothers. And I'm not afraid or ashamed to admit it. And you will suffer persecution for ten days. Be faithful, even to the point of death, and I will give you the crown of life. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes will not be hurt at all by the second death. What are they referring to? Overcome the scum who are manipulating society who wants you to see it their way, not Chukwa and Meccas. The woods. And I will finish this video with the message from our Lord to the church in Paragamum. To the angel of the church in Paragamum writes, and notice where he's going to say, that Satan is. Oh, I'm, 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 let, me, let me quietly. These are the words of him who has the sharp double edged sword. I know where you live, where Satan has his throne. Yet you remain true to my name. Why? The E1, B1, and the loyal white people who exist in Greece to this day. Some of the protesters are some of the loyal white people who exist in Greece to this day. You did not renounce your faith to me even in the days of Antipas, my faithful witness, who was put to death in your city where Satan lives. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you. You have people there who hold to the teaching of Balaam, who taught Balak to entice the Israelites to sin by eating food sacrificed to idols, prescription pills, GMO foods, 
and by committing sexual immorality. Lusting for the demon vampresses on TV. Likewise, you also have those who hold to the teachings of the Nicolaitans. Repent, therefore. Otherwise, I soon come to you, and I will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna. I will also give him a white stone with a new name written on it. Only to him who receives it. In the name of our Lord and not the woods false idols. Amen.